everyone it's Char from Char's Fashion Nation and today we are going to be doing the fashionated part of art now I've been working on this L for about a year because like I'll work on something and then I'll lose interest and then I'll come back to it now what we're actually going to do with this today or what I'm going to show you is how to add some watercolor into this and um, get it cheerful. Although I do have some shading in there, as you can see. Uh, I use a mechanical pencil a lot when I do my drawings. And what I did was just go over it with a Sharpie, but I'm like, you know what, this is missing something altogether. So let me see what I can do to cheer this up. And to cheer this up, and I mean really cheer this up, is bringing something really cool to you guys. So, um, I have my water right here. And I had gave my friend, I can't find my paint, so I gave my friend's daughter these uh, watercolor paints. And she's kept them really nice. I mean, for a kid to keep paint really nice. And she, you know, she's gotten really interested in a lot of the artwork, which is good. You know, a child's mind needs to grow and expand, and a good way to do that is with artwork. So, when we get started on this, you know, I remember my uh, college teacher telling me, well, you have to start with your light colors and then work into your darks or... There's actually a lot of different ways that you can do this. So, I'm going to start with this one right here. Work that up on the brush. Sometimes you got to get that brush a little more wet, especially when you're working with these dry paints. And you're like, now how is this really going to work for something like that? And is it really going to show a lot of color? Absolutely. So, I'm going to show you that. And I'm just using a flat brush. And this is fake hairs, which, by the way, I got from uh, Michael's Crafting, these brushes. And if you can see that that, you can, you can totally see that that changed the color of that beak. And you can layer this in. It's kind of like putting on makeup, I guess, but you can just layer this in. And then we take that same color and we bring it into the feet. And the reason I can just bring it into the feet like that is because I already have them done. Get that brush a little more wet. Pick up a little more color. Now you can actually mix the colors if you want and take them in there and just scrub that color in. I'm not really worried about, you know, going outside the line right now. Because my intent for that is to use that for shade. Now, a lot of times, and people may not know this, is you can take the ink and use it as a paint concept. Absolutely, you can. Now, anybody else would go, like, brilliantly, I don't know what colors to make an owl. This owl if you notice, is made out of leaves. It's made out of greeneries. So that's when we go into the green right here. And that green pigment really picks up on that brush. And what I'll do first is I'll actually bring it into the inner ones here. Just kind of scrub that in. Now, I told Rindy Ray I was going to do a live stream, but I'm just going to go ahead and upload um, real quick. I wanted to show this to you guys. Now, some of my artwork, something like this piece, I will be dispensing some of my artwork out to friends that, and, you know, 
I have one child that literally speaks to me. And, you know, I will be dispensing some artwork out to him. So, and it's for Christmas gifts. And if you just see how much that that changes the picture, the texture, and how much that just stands right out at you, uh, you get the whole concept of you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Now I'm sounding like Bob Ross. And painting can be very joyful, you know? The joy of teaching you how to take any kind of paint and just make the most spectacular paintings however you want however you want and <laughs> Bob Bob Ross always says happy accidents well sometimes accidentally blending some colors can be a happy accident on a paper a canvas water paints are generally used for making Christmas cards absolutely they are and uh, then I'm going to go in with this teal green color. And you're going to see how much of that just kind of, there you go. It changes out the whole perspective right there. Um, and I actually wanted to sit over here, hoping we would get better lighting. <laughs> Now, I've actually done uh, art design works for other people, graphic design. I'm not, that's not my, my trade. My trade isn't graphic design, but I do know how to do it. I did change the cover on my phone from my coffee cat. I have some artwork that I call coffee cats. Unfortunately, they're stuck on that other laptop. Well, not entirely. Not entirely. Let me take that back. Not entirely. I put some of it on my Facebook. So, whoever's in the systems, you know, hey, you tried to get them, but you didn't get them all. There you go. And you see how that totally, like, there you go. And just wash that brush again. You know, I could use a lot of my other brushes. I really could. I took out more than just that brush. I took these out too. You have, this one's a real hair. And the other are all synthetic. Now, I used to do Chinese and Japanese watercolor. Love, 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 love working with that. Now, what do I want to do for the rest of the body here? Well, in that area, I will take a yellow. I can't get the yellow up on this. Probably going to turn it kind of yellowish green. Because I can't get all the green out of this brush. Ah, uh, there we go. We're getting some yellow on here. I'm just, sometimes you really just have to scrub it to get it on there. Which, I know you're thinking, well, why don't you just use hot water? Well, I'll tell you what. When I went to art class, they said... Don't use hot water with your watercolors. Why, I don't know, but they just said don't do that. Um, so I'm going to go in the eye. Who says you can't bring some cool color to an eye? I'm <laughs> doing an L, you know, who. Right. So just layer that yellow right in there. And it's really about that easy to put it in. And I'm glad I'm able to bring some painting to you today. My gosh, I haven't taught that in a while. Um, yeah, in Rindy Rain, I came to a point of, there's a fabric now that I have that I'm going to use for her little 
stuffy Joey. Um, and I just think that's the most adorable thing Mona G could have gave her. Um, now what I'm going to do, and I know you guys might think this is really strange. I'm going to take this turquoise color around this area and down in some of these feathers. I know you like think that's dragon scales. No, actually some owls have what looks like a dragon scale. I'll pick up a different brush. Um, I'll use this one. Gotta remember the camera's over here. Um, so yeah, I'll use that one. I used to have a lot of other brushes. I don't know what happened to them. And I used to have my acrylic paints. Don't know what happened to them. Um, that's okay. Everything can be replaced. They're just objects. Caring about people and caring about, you know, what goes on around you and keeping positive is actually what keeps life a lot better. Um, absolutely. Should I clean? I'm not done with that side of the face yet. Yeah, I'm not done with it, but that's okay because I'm just teaching you. So, who are we <laughs> to just say, hey, you forgot that? No, I didn't forget it. Like I said, you know, I'm going to do a lot of hand-painted cards. I wanted to illustrate to you guys on how you can just do this. You don't necessarily have to pre-draw it. I'm just showing you on a pre-drawn piece of artwork of how I'm doing this. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put it here too. And then every other one because we're going to pop this color with another in-between color. And then you can layer that in there and kind of go in and work that as shade. See that? You just work that in there for shade. And then just come up here. And just lightly put that in there. Now, there's a reason to put that in lighter. Absolutely. Yeah, I forgot to grab paper towel. Normally, I would grab a paper towel when I'm doing this. And when I do get to finishing off drawing that side, I will get to painting that in. But, yeah. I just wanted to show you how fun this could be. And you can take this, as you can see, in grayish and colors. You can take it really bold to having it really light. And uh, so now we're going to find that color that's going to make this pop. Now I have reds and blues. I have red and yellow, purple, green, purple, green. And I do. I have red and yellow, purple, green. Um, <laughs> so what do I want to take to really have this color just like boldly stand out? Um, I could take purple or I could take a lavender tone, which I do have a lavender tone in this one. <laughs> My friend's daughter's really been enjoying this. I can tell. I can definitely tell. I love teaching art to everyone. I'll tell you what, a brilliant child will pick up on artwork so quick. It's just hard to, you know, hard to believe that, you know, kids really aren't getting the tutelage they used to. You know what I mean? Now this part up here on the head is more of a flower and then you have all the leaves down here so this is the flower this is the leaf now you get the concept of that and it's in an L who would have thought that an owl is actually a flower <laughs> right who would have thought And sometimes I've always thought about this, like, if I could do a really cool piece of artwork, 
would I print it and put it on a piece of clothing? Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't know if any of you would like to see that being done or what. You would have to tell me in the comments below if you'd like to see my artwork on some clothing. And would that interest you? Um, Shars Fashionation on clothing on a label. Would you? Would you buy that? It's not like Lou LaRoe. Gosh, no. Lula, no. <laughs> oh, my neighbor sells that crap. I felt the fabric. It's all polyester. Nobody wants to light up like a Christmas tree. Oh, and some of their pants. Have any of you seen that meme of the chick wearing that pair of pants? And the leaning power of T Pisa looks like the leaning power of <laughs> coming out of that area of her pants. You know what? That's Lou LaRoe pants, and it's horrible. It's just horrible. Like, whoever made that design is an idiot. <sighs> it's a complete foolish idiot. Okay, now I'm also going to take some of that yellow and go right into the beak and brighten that up. I just don't feel that that's brightened up enough. And then go into the feet and do the same thing. Just brighten those up. It doesn't take much to do that. Um, and I'm not going to be on this device too long. I found that when I do videos on my phone and go to transfer them over, for some reason... They're half cut. I don't you know. It is what it is. I have to deal with this. I do have to deal with it. And we're going to take a little bit of that orange in the beak. Blending these colors like this. This is going to make this stand out more for detail wise. And we do the same thing to the feet to catch that detail. And just turn your brush. If you have paint on both sides, you use both sides of your brush. And that's how that is. Okay. What are we going to do for the body, you might ask. Well, I'm not sure yet what how I want to have colors in the body yet. Now, I was thinking maybe go back to that turquoise color. Absolutely. Maybe just go back to that turquoise color and just go in to the scales scaly feathers okay i admitted it it looks like scales because then we'll also be adding lavender into this and really pop it out you know really pop those colors I really wish I had my paint stuff back. Have to like just get all new. It's okay. We have a new year coming. Maybe that's a sign of just get some new thing. Bring that to you, which I have no problem with doing. Bringing you new with the new year, right? And just take the purple in here, take that lavender in, and I'm gonna use the lavender as a shade base. 